Hello, welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be ranking Doc Martens. So, what's your favorite Doc Martens, and what is your least favorite Doc Martens? Please comment down below, and this is going to be based on my opinion. Some things may be right, some things may be wrong. Let's get into it. These are the rules. I'm going to keep it very simple. I mean, it's going to be A, B, C, and D. Those are the different types of grades, and when it comes to A, these are boots or shoes that I must have. I need shoes that I am going to wear every day, like my daily driver. B, they're nice, but they're missing just a little oomph, just something to make it something that I can wear every day. Next, C is it's okay, it's average. I might wear it every now and again, but it's not the focal point of my collection. And then D, something that I will not buy with my own money. So let's get into it. The first pair of Doc Martens that we're going to be talking about are the 101s. The 101s are like, I guess, a small brother of the 1460s. They're cut at just a little bit above the ankle. When the 1460s, they go a little bit above it. So they're similar, but they're not as popular. So with that being said, I just give it a C. I mean, if I have the 1460s already, why do I need the 101s? I mean, well, this is free, but I will not spend my money on the 101s. They look nice. They're cool. They give me the vibe of the 1460s. So the C, it's okay if I have it. They look cool, but I'm not spending my money on it. The next one are the 1460s. They're famous for a reason. The 1460s, they look nice, elegant. They go with a lot of different styles. They're very versatile. Doc Martens have made a lot of them. So the 1460s easily get an A. Like everyone knows Doc Martens simply because of the 1460s. They go with a lot of different weather a lot of different um let's say seasons uh people just wear it with all different types of outfits so the 1460s there must have literally a plus 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 you need the 1460s if you're going to start like a little doc martin's collections the next one is the 1461s these 1461s they are like a lower cut of the 1460s they're nice they look stylish but basic at the same time i really like the simplicity of it but if I have to judge, I'll have to say the only thing that I don't like is that it's low cut. During the winter time, I feel like I don't wear it that much. So that's why I'm giving it a B because it's nice. It's cool. But during the winter time, I'm not out with my 1461s. I mean, unless it's like a very warm winter, but I usually put them away by late fall, early winter. That's the only downfall with the 1461s. The next is the 1914. If you don't know what these are, they're the tall, long boots, which definitely are not my style. They look cool on other people, but for me, I'll just have to pass on them. I have some big calves and I'll feel like kind of insecure if I put them on, like <laughs> literally. So these are not my style. I don't even know how to wear them like over under the pants or I don't know. They're not my style. I just, they're not for me. So a D unfortunately but some other people they look smooth in them they know how to rock them kudos to them just not me the next one are the chelsea boots the 2976 these ones oh my gosh i really like the chelsea boots i don't know they're right up my alley the style the everything the ones that i do have they're the crazy horse leather i bought them and i like fell in love with them like literally i sometimes even wear these instead of my 1460s like the chelsea boots are just clutch the only problem with them that i'll have to say they're like fits one style or maybe i'm just basic but they fit one style it's like semi-professional professional and yeah apart from that the chelsea boots are it is what it is but i give them a b simple b the next one is the 3989 these are similar like the 1460 ones they look nice they're clean the wingtip it's the only thing that i have with these they're stylish and it kind of stops me from wearing them more literally i'd rather pick my 1460 ones because they're a little bit more basic and i feel like they can go with more outfits but the 3989 they're a bit stylish and with that being said i feel like they're more special occasions so i'm gonna give them a c unfortunately i really like them i got the cherry ones too Ooh, whenever i wear them People always ask me, oh my gosh, what are those? They look very nice, clean. The next ones are the 80, 
53. These ones are very similar to the 1460 ones. And like the biggest difference is like got some cushion around like the heel or the back of the heel, like the, your Achilles around that area. And it looks nice, but it's so similar to the 1460 ones. Like literally, it looks just like the 1460 ones. So since I already have the 1460 ones, I don't see a need to have them. So I give them a D. I mean, even a C, but a D is harsh, but I already have the 1460 ones. So why do I need these? Like, what's the special difference? Somebody please let me know. But that's just how I feel about them. Next ones are the Jadens. Like these are platform boots, like literally, not my style, I've never rocked it. I mean, I'm not the tallest guy, but it would help to rock some platform boots, but I don't know. It's just not my style. I just don't rock platform boots. I rather have like the normal ones. It just feels weird to have like a big chunk of like, <laughs> maybe I'll be six foot if I put them on, but another story for another day, but they're cool. It's just not my style, so. I have to give him a D. I mean, I like how Doc Martens have made the platform for every type. Like they got the platform 1460s, platform 1461s, whatever you need. They got it in the platform mode. So it looks nice. It's cool. It's just not for me, unfortunately. Next is the loafers. Like these loafers, I'm starting to see them more and more. And the more I look at them, the more I like them. Like, oh my gosh, they're just elegant, smooth, clean. I'm like, wow. I need this in my life, but I don't want to spend the money for it. So <laughs> not now, but they remind me of the 3989. Very similar, very stylish, but I'm not going to wear them that much. I need like occasions to wear them, if you understand. So give them a seat. Lastly, it's the utility boots. These are very nice looking like they're very different too from what people are expected from Doc Martens like the utility boots they're just a whole different style like literally a whole genre of Doc Martens and I like them like when I was doing research for this video because I couldn't find how many different types of Doc Martens that they are and if you don't know I'm not going to be talking about female Doc Martens because I'm a guy I don't know anything about that but these utility boots they look good like especially the low cut ones i don't know the olive green mm, it's calling my name but i don't like like the high top high cut ones they look good but that low cut oh my gosh unfortunately i'm gonna have to give this maybe a b or a c i'm doing this live i don't know now that i'm thinking about it because those can be worn all throughout the year and I feel like they're very solid. I don't know. I have to give them a C. I don't know. Just because I only like one of the multiple whatever utility tech boots or whatever they have. But I'll give them a C. It's something I like to have. Wear it every now and again. And maybe it might upgrade to a B or even an A. I don't know. I'm playing around. But yeah. Lastly are like the slippers, the slides and all of that. They look nice. I've never tried them, so I don't know. I feel like now, the more and more I see them, the more and more I want them. Like, for example, I've seen like sales on them and it's like tempting to get one of them, especially the ice sold ones. I don't know. I've never ever rarely put on slides or like sandals because I played soccer. I have some bad feet for some reason, but if I ever do, buy one i'll make a video about it get like a manicure pedicure feet get my feet done and then then i can test them out so hopefully we'll see what's up but i have to give them a c some of them look nice and then some of them look very barbaric like asian days like no i'm not wearing the ones that go all the way up to my calves and no i feel like that's doing too much for me personally but some of them do look nice. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Some sandals, some slides, mm, they're looking on point. But that's what I think about Doc Martens. These is just like a small major ones that I've seen from their website. So I might have missed some. Please comment down below which ones I've missed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. And uh, yeah.